Ripple to take over Swift. Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we're going to talk about XRP taking over Swift. So Brad Garlinghouse believes his company's technology will replace Swift. This is a massive claim and this is not just any news that we're just reading out. This is he's actually made this claim on Bloom, Bloomberg TV. He said that his company is able to gain customer at a faster rate relative to the market because financial firms are looking for faster more modern technology than what is currently offered by swift so we know what ripple is is a startup company and with we own xrp so ripple and xrp are different this is something that we need to be aware of so ripple in terms of gaining greater access to cross-border payment firms has been the society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunication or swift so traditionally guys we know swift has been the main player it's got the lion's share of the cross-border payments and remittance market which ripple or xrp is trying to get into ripple uh, with Ripple able to substantially cut down transfer times and fees, uh, can they take some customer away? Ripple XRP is working with the largest money transfer firms in the world, MoneyGram and Western, and they're also guys working with X Rapids. So we as XRP investors want X Rapid adoption, and this could be potentially a reality. While banks may continue to look to Swift for their cross-border transactions, C CEO Garlinghouse believe his company offers this substantial advantage and in the future it could take a big share again i'm not saying they will take over swift but if they can keep delivering this uh, technology and adoption will happen think about it guys change doesn't happen initially but if you find out that there's a faster and a cheaper car and a better car than the car that you've got over time you want to buy it so this is what i'm trying to say if ripple and xrp can actually deliver it yes it can happen and even as the company grows in developing nations such as Brazil and India which are looking for cheap remittance services, Swift re remains a goliath of the competitor. I wanted to read this bit because XRP Ripple could start off being a bit bigger in, the, in those emerging countries and then make it big in, in the western world. So let's read out some quotes of what he said. The technologies that banks use today that Swift developed decades ago really hasn't evolved or kept up with the market. Swift had said not that long ago that they didn't see blockchain as a solution to correspondent banking. We've got well over 100 of their customers saying they disagree. What they are, what we are doing and executing on a day by day basis is in fact taking over Swift. So again this is a massive claim guys but if if swift doesn't make the changes they might get fallen behind they need to make sure that they're, they're doing and developing their technology we all know if you don't develop and get cocky like blackberry we can't we know if, if a new 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 uh, company comes in town with a better product you might get out of business and this has been covered massive few by a few different uh, media outlets so Garlinghouse says there are opportunities for swift partnership but now is the time to take over some of the largest swift enabled banks in the world are now using ripples technology so this is big big news guys this is massive news and this is a quote guys strictly rumors there's lots of rumors and i'm hesitant to comment on any rumors because if you comment on false rumors then you have to comment on true rumors so you just avoid them all this is a great comment by garlinghouse i think what we're doing and he talked about some of the articles some of the bits that i read earlier as well I'll do my own technical analysis near the end but it's important to read what other people are doing as well. After breaking out of the contracting triangle shown on the hour chart, Ripple is on a roll hammering on the immediate resistance hurdle at 0.53 cents. Likewise bulls have their eyes on 55 cents and further upward to 60 cents. The signals are positive at the moment with RSI pointing north and MACD on the same chart. I'll do my own analysis so he's got a bullish stance. I'll talk about what I am looking for as well. So Ripple's price spike after CEO calls for global framework and bashes Bitcoin. I wanted to just show you this article so this is this is not just been covered by a uh, smaller uh, media outlets it's been covered by guys Forbes as well so it's a lot more trustworthy than just reading up about from a, a cryptocurrency uh, website so this is what 
he's got to say what are your thoughts on it uh, if I had to give you my thoughts yes it can happen in the future but it won't happen overnight if you are a believer in Ripple XRP this is not financial advice but if you are a believer in Ripple XRP yes you can invest and buy some so guys my technical analysis what have I got to say so Ripple had that massive jump I talked about when I got in and I made some decent profit I've shared it on my YouTube channel and on Twitter if you don't follow me on there guys make sure you follow me on there um, and and it, it has been quite good for me so what I was looking for here was guys when when it was kind of consolidating and people were saying it could go up or down that is exactly what I said the main price range I was looking for is this range there's a lot of confluence around there previous support and I said if 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 X XRP can stay above this I'll be bullish on XRP and that is exactly what I've said and as you can as you can see the CCI crossover RSI started moving up and we saw some good price increase now we're seeing a bullish crossover on the daily moving averages guys and it is uh, uh, following this trend line so it could see some higher up range but 50% level is a key level so it could be resistance we could see it kind of consolidate move sideways and then break out if it can break above this and stay above this I'd be looking at the 618 sort of level and I'd be looking for it to go higher and higher I'd probably say it would go to kind of this level is pre is there's a Fibonacci level and also previous highs as well so you can play you can try and play short term guys but um, I'm looking. I, I'm, I've got a decent entry in XRP, so I'm hot. I'm hold. I'm hodling, hold, if you want to say that. Um, but if you haven't got in, this is probably not the best time to get in. Wait for a crossover, or wait for it to close above the 50% level, and we can accept expect XRP to, uh, I'd say, head around that 55 cents level. But it needs to close above it, and it could see a decent price increase. Like I've said, it, it's a, it's about five six percent trade, so it's a not bad. Uh, trading again but if you are a uh, uh, if you are a trader guys then do not listen do not try and day trade what i will say is just invest and um just uh, dollar cost average and buy it as it goes down if you are a big believer in xrp if you think it's going to go up do not try to day trade and lose money i've been day trading for over uh, for years i know what i'm doing but if you're new to day trading or trading just buy a dollar cost average so buy 200 pound here 200 pound if it goes down because you believe that it will go up again do not this is not a financial advice do your own research but if you believe in ripple xrp yes you can buy it so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much